few years ago, our next guest had a great idea. What if she gathered some of the best chefs in Pittsburgh in one location, invite people to sample their food, soup, serve some drinks, maybe have some music for dancing. Sounds good. And call it Savor Pittsburgh. Indeed. Better yet, make the event a fundraiser for a worthy cause. Woohoo! Perfect. <laughs> the event really took off, of course, as we all know, and now it's in its 12th year. It's grown so big that it's in a brand new location this year. Welcome to Saver Pittsburgh Chair Michelle Kursop with Event Details, along with last year's winning chef in the coveted Dish of the Year competition. Welcome Chef Wyatt Lash of The Commoner. It Thank smells you. so good in here. Thanks, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. It does so, smell delicious. So happy to have you it here. It looks good, too. And Wyatt, I understand you brought some, some stuff to put together a dish that is very similar to what you made last year that won. It is very similar. Um, the only difference this year, uh, we just released a new menu. So we're doing a variation with some beef cheeks. Mm. Um, and then some also what? beef cheeks. Beef cheeks. Yes. So it's the. <laughs> Gotta see them. What's a beef cheek? Uh, it's actually the, the jowl from the, uh, the cattle. Uh, and there's a small piece of very tender meat inside. I have so never what, heard of that. Well, that's what you'll be sampling today. Wonderful. Very neat. <laughs> so, Michelle, tell us a bit about the uh, about Saber Pittsburgh and how it all came together. This is your husband's baby. Yes, absolutely. How, how many restaurants did you have when you first started 12 years ago? So, we started with probably about 15 or 20. Mm -hmm. um, we've generally stopped around 25 because it's a <clears throat> space is limited and it's uh, basically in demand for people to get in. There's nothing like this in Pittsburgh, and this was the actual first chef competition. So, so um, he actually came to Pittsburgh from Philadelphia and when he got here he wanted to get involved in the community and meet people and get to know other chefs and thought you know what a great idea to bring the restaurant community together with a wonderful charity partner like McGee. And how many so, how many chef, chefs and different restaurants turn out for this so, event? So this year we have 24 competing chefs and over 30 different dishes so nice. some of the chefs get um, very competitive and they enter multiple categories so appetizer, entree, dessert uh, yeah. so they can enter one or all three and then ultimately compete for Dish of the Year. Dish of the Year. So Wyatt, why don't you show us a little bit about what you have here with oh, for us cool. today. Okay, so um, this is a pretty simple dish. Um, last year we did a buckwheat uh, waffle cookie uh, with this dish as well, um, and quail eggs. So we showed up this competition last year and cooked about a thousand quail eggs to order. And they're um, tiny. And they're very tiny. <laughs> uh, Where'd you get them all? Uh, local purveyor. Um, okay. But a, about 10 minutes in, I looked at my chefs behind me. I said, chefs, I think we made a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it turned out uh, really well for us. But um, well, so what was the problem? What were you worried about? Cracking quail eggs. Cracking quail eggs to order. <laughs> How do you crack a quail egg? Is it very uh, cute? With a, very, a paring knife. And oh. you just very carefully go around the top. So I had uh, oh, yeah. my number two and one of my uh, long-term blind cooks get very good at cracking, cracking quail eggs. Yeah, in, in a couple hours. In, in a couple hours, <laughs> yeah. right. Man. Um, so I will. I'll finish this uh, while we converse, but uh, this is beef cheeks, uh, just braised in some red wine, um, and then obviously it's a, a local egg from uh, Serenity Hills. Very amazing. And then some sort of hash? Or yes, what is this is a uh, butternut squash hash, uh, potatoes, uh -huh. uh, peppers, and onions. Very nice. And here's the finished product over here. It's yes. gorgeous. Are those microgreens? Those are so they hot are. right now. They are. How did you know that? Because micro they're so hot right now. Microgreens are like the thing. Or maybe they've been around a while. And they've been around for it. a while. <laughs> <laughs> so, Michelle, tell us more about um, who benefits from all of this. Because, of course, the people coming get to sample great food. Right. And the chefs get into the competition. But there's also a great benefactor. Yes. And 100% um, of the proceeds go to um, a charity right here in Pittsburgh. And it's um, McGee Women's Health and Research Institute. Yeah. And so it benefits women's health and infant health um, and prematurity. Stuff. So it is cause. amazing. And how, how much of have you guys been able to donate over the past couple years? Oh gosh, it's a lot. You would have to um, speak to the charity, but you know, we are, and I, we are doing that. I, I would say, um, you know, we go into it raising money. We have a lot of sponsorship dollars and uh, ticket sales. Typically, it all goes, goes goes towards that. So, it's really been it's been wonderful. And what's the turnout like? You yeah. always get a pretty good crowd. We do. Don't you? It's usually a sold out crowd, about fifteen hundred people. Yeah. Um, we have two uh, ticket levels. VIP. Well, we're already oh, at five hundred people. So 
super exciting. Yeah. And <clears throat> tell us about the music too, because in addition to all of the good eating and drinking, you also get to dance. Yes, yeah, so we have a band, No Bad Juju. They've been with us right. since the inception of That's the event. That's a great group. This year, um, we've added Chris Jamison uh, from The Voice. Yep. And um, it's a great time. People walk around, they're enjoying the chef's great food and uh, cocktails, craft cocktails, fine wine, craft beer. So you can't go anywhere in Pittsburgh and enjoy all of this from top restaurants all mm -hmm. in one spot. All in yeah. one spot, except here. Except, except here. Yeah. I want to sample this before we have to leave you guys. Wyatt, what is, can I try this one over here? Oh, you, you can. Um, is, this, is this fresh enough? Is it hot? Uh, it's warm. Uh, I'm just waiting for this egg to finish Okay, here, so. okay. That's, oh, and your award, is this it? This is from last year? That is, that is, that is proudly oh. displayed in our uh, restaurant. 2016, Very nice. yep. And where is the commoner? So the commoner is located uh, at the Hotel Monaco. Mm -hmm. um, we are below lobby level, um, and you can access it also from Strawberry Way. Oh, that's awesome. And are you worried about any of your competitors this year? Um, oh, that's good. Without being too cocky, no. <laughs> <laughs> really? And what are, are you making this again this year? Uh, no, it? but I cannot reveal it because it is a silent uh, judged event. Oh, really? Yeah, that's one thing that's been really important to us is to maintain the integrity of the chef competition. Mm -hmm. Similar to that of an Iron Chef, I mean, nobody Good. knows what it is ahead of time, and it really creates a lot of excitement that day. Mm. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. That is so delicious. That's really good, you guys. Anything awesome. new that you guys are providing this year? Well, definitely the new venue. So mm -hmm. we're at the right, Peterson Event that. Center. Mm -hmm. um, so that's going to be... What you took know, you there? What brought that up? I mean, is that well, just, it's a big space. It so is, it is. Um, that, one of the things, too, be part of it. ultimately our goal is to raise money for the charity. So mm -hmm. a lot of times when we do the outside, we have to rent tents, and there's a lot of cost and expense into that. So one of my recommendations was let's try to find a spot take indoors, indoors, take it indoor, yeah. and raise be even safe. more money for the charity. Mm -hmm. And then we don't have to worry so. about the elements if it's right. too right. hot or raining. And so. Yeah. And the pizza great venue. It is, for sure. For everything. Great stuff. It should All be a right. lot of fun. Thank you, guys. So Best of luck. Thank don't you. Don't miss so much. this year's Savor Pittsburgh Culinary Celebration. Again, it's on Thursday, September 28th at the Peterson Event Center in Oakland. You can get more details and tickets at kdka.com slash PTL. And if all the talk about good food and drink didn't convince you to come to this year's Savor Pittsburgh, of course, you know what will. Stay with us because coming up, we'll look at how the funds raised at Savor Pittsburgh are impacting women's health from age nine months to nine through the McGee Women's Research Institute.